As a mining association, Division of Minerals, we put together uh, classes for teachers to try to bring our jobs into the classroom and uh, to educate uh, a lot of the teachers in the area on minerals, rocks, mining processes, education, jobs, those types of things. I've been instructing since 2004, so this is actually my seventh year. I think they get a lot more confidence every year. Again, we have a lot of teachers that, especially in the younger elementary grades, they aren't used to teaching science. They themselves may not feel comfortable with any kind of investigation. And, and learning that they can do it. I mean, they can identify things. It, it really is nice. By doing these workshops, we hit teachers that know nothing about mining and open up their eyes to how we mine minerals in the state, uh, what jobs are available, the different kind of career paths, and many other things. So far, we learned about energy changes and utilizing the periodic table and how these elements are prominent in different parts of the world. We're going to start by modeling uh, a million grains of rice is what it is, and that has them get an idea of how big is a million. And then we're going to use that in looking at uh, different elements and how much is mined. We always see rocks and minerals, we see them around, but a lot of people don't realize we use rocks and minerals for pretty much everything. And so the idea that those minerals that they see in the classroom are actually something that they may use in their home or in their business, you know, their everyday life. A lot of what I've learned here so far is to do with what I teach because we have integration in our programs for science and for social studies. So there's Nevada history, then the science itself, the rocks that are right under our feet. So all of that is pertinent Great. to my kids. Well, a lot of times they're just a little bit afraid of, of science. They're not really sure what to expect. And you know, earth science is so wonderful because it's everywhere. They can feel a rock, they can see a rock. And so it's a great opportunity to, to learn about science in a really comfortable way, I think. Because a lot of people know the word mining. They, they know what minerals are but they have no idea how we get to that point, right? So, so when we come in the classroom and, and we show them really what, what modern mining is and, and uh, how you get there, it opens up a lot of eyes or questions, especially tours. Tours are a large focus of our, of our workshop here. We always uh, try to get a tour to an active mine. It really opens up a lot of people's eyes to, to what mining really is, rather than their perception of mining. So it's very satisfying to do that. While I'm here, I'm in the position of being taught by a teacher, so I get to experience it. So it's easier for me to teach the students because I understand when they're confused and some of the questions that they ask me, I'm much better at answering them. We put our whole hearts and souls in these workshops and you can tell by the end, we're all very exhausted, but we're all very uh, happy in what we do and, and we love to let the teachers know about some of our knowledge and, and to teach them what's going on. Yeah.